Welcome back to Blau Dev, everyone. Today we're going to be going over how to open up links within your application, as well as show thumbnails and previews um, for those links. So there's two different packages we are going to be using, and depending on how you want to do this and what kind of information you have available, you can pick and choose what fits your app best. So the two packages that we're going to be going over today are Simple URL Preview and URL Launcher. Now I do want to note that Simple URL Preview, it's fairly new, so there's a couple kinks to it, um, and it does actually utilize the URL Launcher library to open the link itself. So regardless, you're going to be using URL Launcher if you go with either of these libraries, um, but Simple URL Preview gives us the opportunity to show an image and description um, as well before we click on the link. And so we're going to kind of jump in and I'll show you guys uh, kind of what that looks like. So the first thing we need to do after we've gone ahead and added these dependencies, we want to import it, import those packages or whichever package you want to use into your page where you want to use it. And I'm going to start with URL Launcher. I've created this very simple material button um, right now when you click it it just prints out press button. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to on click call the URL launcher library and we're going to open a link within the app. So let's go ahead and set up that method. I'm just gonna put it within the widget and we're gonna call this method, uh, actually let's put it out here. I'm just gonna call this open URL. And typically you want to pass in the URL that you wanna, that you want to um, open. I'm not going to worry about that because um, I'm just going to, for the purposes of demonstrating, I'm just going to pass in uh, just predetermined URL. Oh, I spelled async wrong. So we need to make sure whatever method uh, we're calling this in, it's an asynchronous method. Um, and we are going to do the following. We're going to have a simple if statement. We're going to say if await can launch and then this is going to, we're going to go to medium.com. Um, we're going to say await launch, um, then www.medium.com. Else, you want to throw uh, could not launch URL. Okay, so really simple. We're checking one, is it possible? Is this a valid link? And if it is, then we wanna launch that link. And the reason we wanna do this is it's going to give us a weird, nasty error screen if it's a poor link. And so we wanna make sure that we validate that it's a valid link prior. Okay, and in place of press button, we're simply gonna call our open URL method, save that. Let's see what could not launch URL. Okay, so what probably needs to happen, HTTPS, some gold message. It's probably not a valid link. There we go. So it didn't like the formatting of the link and so it rejected it. Um, and here you go. It'll open it within the app. Upon pressing done, it simply swipes away similar to as you see in other popular apps on social media, such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Okay, the next package we're gonna be doing is the simple URL preview. And this one does, you can run into some render flex errors depending on where you place this widget. So just keep that in mind, make sure you're structuring everything properly. Um, so I'm just gonna put this in my base column widget and I'm going to call simple URL preview. Okay. I'm going to pass the URL. We're going to use the same URL from the previous one. You can customize the text color. You can customize the background color. Um, you can customize, I believe it's called size, maybe height. Yeah, the height of the modal, but it will never go shorter than 150 pixels. Um, that's the lowest you can go, but you can go bigger as well. You can customize uh, 
the number of lines that the title can have, the number of lines that the description can have. Um, the only thing that you currently cannot customize is the image. Um, you can customize the image loader color, but the, the one thing that, this is the only thing I don't really like about this package is the inability to customize the display image itself. Um, so I'm gonna do this preview height, uh, so it's equal to 200. Let's save that. And you'll see here what it does is it takes the thumbnail image, displays it on the left, and this is the piece that I'm not a huge fan of, is it will stretch it a little bit depending on the photo. Um, and so that's not all that, that's the one caveat that I have. Hopefully that'll get updated and there'll be some more customization with that in the future. But the really cool thing that this package allows you to do is it creates a really clean card for you and it also adds in the title of the page and it adds in the um, description that comes with the page. So those URL tags that you typically find um, at the top of the page in the properties and those meta tags, uh, it pulls out those and displays those within the app. And again, it uses URL launcher to load the image. So similar to how we had a button that called our open URL method, it similarly does that in the background on its own using the open, the, um, I'm sorry, the URL launcher library. That's what it is. So these are two options that you can use for your app. Um, personally, I like to handle all of the customization and opening of the links myself, but this is a really nice option as well if you want a more simple approach. That's it for today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time.